It's Free Tip Friday on a Thursday. Published some other day of the week. Honda Earth Drains, it's the 1-5. Turbo. Uh, these will come in with uh, your classic rich codes. Uh, every light in the dash will be on and you'll find out that you're gonna need to put injectors in it. So these are GDI injectors right from Hondu. You buy them in a little four pack and you slap them babies in. But you'll also notice, hopefully you're observant enough to notice that when you're done, your fuel trims are still messed up. They're still running at negative, you know, 18, negative 20, where, uh, you know, of course the codes have been cleared in this thing, but we'll see like, oh gosh, you know, I didn't fix it. What? Uh, but you did. You just gotta finish fixing it all the way. And this is gonna go for any any car that really, that comes in that's running rich and has been over fueled. Uh, long enough to throw the engine light on and what's that changing the oil so I'm assuming at this point that our fuel trim number sitting here at, you know minus 18 minus 19 you know kind of bounce around there on the short term hasn't populated the long term fuel trim yet is because of you know excessive gas in the oil and pulling it through the PCV system um, and, and may give you a red herring and send you out a wild goose chase thinking like ah crap you know the injectors I got were junk I didn't show you prior to this, but our fuel trims were at minus 25, short term, long term. I mean, it was pulling back as much fuel as it could. I'm gonna change oil, and that's all I'm gonna do. I've obviously already put the new injectors in, not a bad job, pull the intake, and bang, bang, boom. We're gonna change oil, and I'm gonna show you how much gas diluted oil can affect your fuel trims. I understand that this sounds pretty obvious to, to most of you, but Somebody out there is going to benefit from this because they've already done everything to get to stop their vehicle from throwing rich codes. You know, you've already done fuel pumps and injectors and purge valves, map sensors, mass airflow, and, <laughs> uh, and this is often often overlooked. This, the humble oil change doesn't take much fuel dilution in the in the oil to start goofing up those fuel trim numbers. Uh, you know, pulling through the PCV system. So it's pretty, pretty common. Fill her up with some fresh Zero Dub 20. Look at the difference now. So we just started up, so it's still, still not even warmed up. Been running for a minute. And we can see our fuel trims go from, you know, minus 24, 17, 18, bounce around there to, you know, minus two or three. So bang on the money, baby. At any rate, folks, don't let something this simple, you know, stumble you up or make you think that you didn't fix it for real. Uh, and these are usually cases where it's, uh, let's say you had a, you know, an O2 sensor, it's stuck lean that's been just put in the boots right to the engine with the fuel. Uh, in this case, you know, injectors that have gone bad and, uh, you know, start kind of getting a little extra gas in a crankcase or, you know, your high pressure fuel pump that runs off the cam. That's usually the obvious one because usually we start getting rich codes for those when the crankcase is pretty well full. <laughs> so, but this often gets overlooked. And the only reason I made this is because I've seen it overlooked in multiple occasions where somebody will send us a car and it's still rich. They've actually fixed it, they just didn't know. So, change your oil, watch your fuel trim numbers, and you'll see what I'm talking about.